Hey guys, so today we have here the Lenovo x Yoga, and we're just going to be doing a screen replacement for this one. So what you want to do, of course, is start by removing the back screws. Alright, once you're done with that, you can remove the back cover. And now what we want to do is remove the battery. To do that, it's pretty simple. You can just take it off. You can use your fingernail. It's probably the best way to get underneath it. It comes off like that. So now let's flip it over. And we will have two screws on these sides, but they're covered by little rubber pieces. So let's remove that. Now, after you do that, the bezel comes off. There's just a little plastic piece bezel you can just remove with your fingers as well. And now there's two extra screws, again, that go right underneath this. All right. And after that, let's just remove the screen. You can use like a pick, like a guitar pick or a little piece of plastic to help you out. You can just go around the top and the edges on the bottom. There's no glue and no adhesive, so you don't have to worry about anything there. All right, let's just remove the connections now. First thing you want to do is actually remove the cable. Let's it come out. And now we want to make sure you take off the LCD cable. Let's do that. All right, so there it goes. Comes right off. Actually, I do believe. Sometimes it makes it pretty obvious. You see there's a little writing here. I do believe this is actually the wrong screen for this display itself. Um, it is from the back, what the back says, and by a serial number, it's supposed to be a first generation yoga. I believe this is a second generation screen. So I got the original one. Another thing too, it does, the touch screen does not work. And I don't believe it's because of the crack. I do believe it's because it is the wrong screen. Because sometimes they could display if you get the right pin connectors, but maybe it's just a little bit off and, but just of course maybe the touchscreen doesn't work. So I believe this got replaced before, so I'm going to go try the screen I think it is. And it is a little bit of a different screen. You can almost tell, actually you can't really tell it's actually perfectly exactly the same. But the connection is supposed to be a little bit different and we'll find out if it does work or not. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit of a different generation, but it actually looks exactly the same. But, so we'll see if it's going to work, and I think my theory might be right. Even though it does look the same, it should be a little bit different. It does have a different uh, fru number, FRU number, I don't know, I think it says say fru. And I think that's going to be the difference in actually the touchscreen working. So we're just going to put it right back, and then we're actually going to go see right away if it works or not. We don't have to put any of the screws in or anything. So let's just make sure we put this in. This looks good. Put this in over here. It should exactly fit the same. And that's the thing with some of these models. You're just not too sure. Sometimes you know you. Some people get replacement parts, but you have to be the expert, and you have to be the one to tell the difference. Just because a customer says it's one thing doesn't mean that's exactly true. So let's see if my theory is right. Because actually, I'm not 100% sure if this is going to work. All right, so we're just going to plug it in. And we're going to go test it, see if it works. That comes on. The screen does come on, which is a great sign. And now we'll see if the touch screen works. But you can see the touch screen works. Okay, when I click it, you can see a little checkbox up there. Um, I'm pretty confident in it. I know it's really dark right now, but I think that's actually because let's, let's crank it up a bit. OK, there you go. You can really see it now. I'm going to put it in tablet mode because I like to check it through tablet mode. It should have a bunch of gestures and everything. This what I was right, and this was the wrong screen that was put on before. And that wrong replacement, it may be able to fit. Maybe the pin connectors maybe even does turn on, but the touchscreen didn't work. It shut off. Now let's just screw it back in. Let's unplug it. And we want to make sure we fit it in, and then we can screw it back in and make sure there's nothing behind it. 
let's just go flat in. Sometimes there's a little bit. So it should maybe go down. And then it should clamp back up. Maybe pull up. So we should be able to clamp down. Should be able to push it in and then clamp down and up. So. So yeah, yeah. If you don't get that right the first time, you have a problem too. So you want to make sure when you do this, you want to make sure you flatten the edges here, and then it's going to be a little bit down. There's going to be a little bit of a gap. But then right when flatten it completely, and then you should be able to push up. So make sure all the edges on the side here are completely flat. So you can see there's no gap in between here. And you want to do the same for both sides. And once you get the same for both sides, there's a little bit of a gap. I don't like that. So let's push this down a little bit more. You just be very careful, it's very, very fragile. See, there's a little bit of a gap there. So it looks good. So you can see there's no gap there at all. Stop focusing on the charger. Get out of here. All right. So you can see there's no gap at all. So now once you see there's no gap and it flattens, you can push it up and then they should lock. If it does, then there's no other gap. So make sure it's completely flattened. And once you do that, you definitely want to make sure before you do anything else, you want to make sure you put in the screws at the bottom here to hold it in. You can see it's relatively easy to push in and out. This is a great way to honestly do it. I really like this way because there's no glue and I feel like it's a very, very solid way to do it. Lenovo has a few of these. Uh, I think the, the yoga lineup actually does this the most and probably the best out of the whole lineup. They, they glue other ones, which is fine too, but I mean, this is a good way to go. Jeez. That looks like a beautiful screen. Yeah. That's great. Take that off. Now we can put down back to plastic here. Goes like this. Goes, should go right under. Of course, always be really careful when you do any of this because you can still crack the glass. It's always it's a very very thin glass. All of the, the glasses, especially any type of screen replacement, is very thin, very fragile. I want to make sure this this flattens. Try to pinch it. Okay, and of course the sides shouldn't really go in yet because you have to screw it in. So I think that should take care of itself here. Yep, that does. So don't worry about the edges completely flattening until you screw it in. So. Okay, it looks good. Now we can put in the little rubber pieces to, just to cover up the screws. Alright. So this looks all good to go. Now, we want to, of course, plug in the battery again. Because that's the last thing we need to do. Mix the batteries in. Now we can put the top cover back. So, anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video on the X1 Yoga screen replacement. So it was the wrong screen. Um, this one was is actually a first generation. So we wanted to make sure we put on the right screen for that. Touch screen does work because we did put on that one. Um, unfortunately, before it actually got replaced and they put the wrong screen in. So you're not really too sure, of course, when someone comes in, you wanna always make sure you double check serial numbers, vial numbers, make sure you're getting exactly what you should be getting. Sometimes a laptop can turn on and maybe touch screen doesn't work or maybe some other issue is there, it's not compatible. So you have to look at it and diagnose it yourself and make sure it does all work out the way it's supposed to. Um, always make check model numbers, check serial numbers, double check them even if someone tells you one thing. You're the tech, you're the professional, and that's what we need to do. So it's all good. So I hope you really enjoyed this video on the X1 Yoga screen replacement. But please subscribe for more content like this. We like to specialize more in repairs and we like to find any other cool, maybe troubleshooting or just any other problems that we really find. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoy. Bye.